Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 3. The Art of Gardening. Unit 3. Orchidomania. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to explain what is orchidomania and describe various orchid hunters who risk their lives to bring orchids to their countries. Paragraph 1. Orchids have always had a reputation as an exotic and fascinating flower. To many, they represent passion and mystery. Today, common orchids are sold for as little as $10 at supermarkets and flower shops. But orchids were not always so inexpensive or common. Many people have risked their lives to discover and collect rare varieties of orchids. Orchidomania, a strangely strong interest in orchids, is as common today as it was in the past. Paragraph 2. Until recently, orchid collecting was a pastime or hobby, only for the very prosperous. Only the rich could afford to buy an orchid. Orchids were usually found in far away remote locations and were hard to grow in colder climates. In the 1830s, an English botanist, Dr. Nathaniel Ward, made a glass container to transport plants long distances. Finally, it became possible for orchid collectors to bring home their treasured or loved plants. From that time, orchid popularity increased in England. Paragraph 3. Orchid hunters were hired to travel to distant countries and bring back exotic new species. The hunters returned to Europe with thousands of orchids. They also brought with them tales of adventure. Benedict Rosal was a famous Czech orchid hunter. He discovered 800 new species of orchid from all around the world. Another famous orchid grower and hunter, an Englishman named John Day, discovered many varieties and painted thousands of pictures of his beautiful finds. Paragraph 4 Not all expeditions or journeys were successful. However, in 1908 a team of eight orchid hunters went on an expedition to the Philippine Islands. Reports say that one died of a tiger attack, another at the hands of natives. The people of that area were headhunters, and several more died in accidents and illness. Only one orchid hunter left the island. He carried with him 47,000 orchids. Paragraph 5. Many orchids today are mass-produced, grown in large amounts, in big controlled areas. For many people, however, orchid hunting is still an obsession and it is still a dangerous pastime. In 2000, Tom Hart Dyke, a young British horticulturalist, went to Central America. He was looking for a new orchid species to name after his grandmother. He was kidnapped and held captive for nine months by guerrillas, a military group fighting against the government. When asked at a press conference whether the trip to the dangerous area had been unwise, Hart Dyke smiled and answered, no comment. Paragraph 6. To many, the passion of orchid hunters seems extreme. It is because of this passion throughout history, however, that the beautiful orchid is now easily accessible, available for all to enjoy. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number 1. Botanist. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. A person who studies plants. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word botanist. Mohammed, can you talk about this? Well, I see a man who's looking into leaves and plants, and he's studying them. And this is what botanist means, studying plants. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word botanist. Let's read the sentence. In the 1830s, an English botanist, Dr. Nathaniel Ward, made a glass container to transport plants long distances. Number two, obsession. Muhammad, can you please give the correct meaning on the right? A. An interest that you think about all the time. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word obsession. Muhammad, can you talk about this? Well, I see a man here using his phone a lot and he's obsessed with it. And that is what obsession means, to think about something all the time. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word obsession. I'll read the sentence for you. For many people, however, orchid hunting is still an obsession. 
Choose the best answer. Question one. In the past, orchids were... A. Only for very wealthy people. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us this answer. In the first sentence, it reads, Until recently, orchid collecting was a pastime or hobby, only for the very prosperous. Only the rich could afford to buy an orchid. Question number two. Before the 1830s, orchid hunters were unable to... C. Transport their orchids home. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing this answer. I'll highlight the sentence for you. Finally, it became possible for orchid collectors to bring home their treasured or loved plants. Now who did this? In the previous sentence it reads, In the 1830s, an English botanist, Dr. Nathaniel Ward, made a glass container to transport plants long distances. Question 3. Orchid hunters of the 1800s were mostly from C. Europe. Now let's take a look at a paragraph that gives us that answer. In the second sentence it reads, The hunters return to Europe with thousands of orchids. If the hunters are returning to Europe with thousands of orchids, that means they left Europe, which would also mean many of the orchid hunters are from Europe. Now let's have a discussion. Mohammed, please tell us a few things that you learned in this unit. Well, in this unit I get to know what orchidomania means. What means is an obsession of orchids. And also, collecting orchids can be dangerous. Actually very dangerous, like what happened to the team who went to the Philippine Islands.